take the chain out of the bag and lay it down on the ground. Release the red tensioning chain from the spring-loaded ratchet. Separate the side chain from the flat red plate and re undo the male female fitting which connects the two pieces of cable together. Untangle the chains, lay them out in front of the tire as shown with the split at the base of the tire so that it can fit the tire without moving the vehicle. Neatly lay it out so that it's totally untangled. Okay. S slide the chain behind the tire as shown so that the one end of the cable appears on the other side of the tire. Pull that out. Once again, untangle it on both sides of the tire, allowing the split of the chain to form itself around the base of the tire. standing in front of the tire now. Pick up the blue cable with your left hand, the yellow cable with your right hand. Connect the male female fitting of the cables on the top of the tire. Push it gently behind the top of the tire. Take the flat red plate connector Put together both pieces of side chain at the 12 o'clock position on the outside of the tire. Connect the red tensioning chain to the ratchet tensioner. Pass it through the, the tensioner. Pull it as tight as possible. Pull the rubber tensioner on the red tensioning chain through the loops on the side chain. Pull the chains once again, as the tensioning chain as tight as possible. Pull it diagonally so that it's tight. Hook it on the outer side chain. Move the vehicle at this time about 15 feet. You can just go backwards and forwards or just travel 15 feet. This will allow the chain to settle and to fit the tire a little better. Get some movement into it. As you can see a lot of slack. They were tight um, prior to moving but they need to be readjusted. Release the, the rubber tensioner pull the ratchet as tight as possible pull the chain diagonally across the tire and now you have a good fit